this video I am going to install uh, Windows Server 2012 in Amazon AWS and uh, installing Active Directory on uh, this Windows Server. So earlier uh, video I used my own local uh, VMware image for installation of Active Directory. So here I am using Amazon AWS. So log to Amazon account then go to EC2. Okay, then. Uh, so go to uh, or here we can launch instance and uh, here uh, we have a lot of options then what I'm I'm going to community MIS and searching for a uh, Windows Server 2012 so I already tested with this instance I'm going to select the same AMI so this is Windows Server 2012 release to 64 bit edition so I'm selecting that instance then uh, on the configuration side so just selecting a medium uh, level configuration two cpus and four gig ram then so number of instance one so storage so 30 is uh, okay i feel uh, 30 gig is okay tag i'm not going to add then security group so this is something like uh, the firewall at aws side so i already have a f uh, created firewall rule so which is like uh, all the source to all the destination i mean the full port open so if you have not created so we can create a new uh, security group here and where we can add i mean all i mean if you want to restrict then you can restrict otherwise leave everything open so review and launch that's it so it will launch an instance and before that uh, you have to provide the key so if you have an existing PEM or PPK so there are files these files you can create at this time so if you already created so okay you can leave as it is so otherwise so create a new key pair and uh, write some name and download so that key you can use for login so I already have key so I'm using choose existing key and uh, this is my key right so if you don't if you are doing at the first time create your own new key and you need to save it in some location launch instance so view instances so that's it it is still loading i'm just naming here as ad so it takes some time to uh, load uh, this instance and this is the ip and uh, so once it is uh, completed so if instance is reached to uh, running state then you would be able to connect so wait some time for that yes now it's okay then use the connect so here get the password okay one second try to connect it again so I have to wait uh, some time to get this initial uh, settings done so it's still uh, doing some initialization task in backend so keep trying okay and uh, yes this time it's working okay so that's it just connect then try to get the password here there is an option so whatever the key you have downloaded in, in previous steps so you need to use that key uh, then i have to use my key so you have to use PEM not PPK here because that's it decrypt the password so I, I got this password so this is my password right so I can uh, note down this somewhere right so then I uh, for connecting download the uh, RDK remote desktop file RDP file then connect it's asking for the password use this password right so you take a moment to connect so right uh, so this is asking for yes give yes right so i'm able to connect this uh, server and it takes some time to uh, get initialize everything so wait some time Okay, so this is still uh, loading. Right.
so now uh, so machine uh, so the server is loaded I'm able to connect so now uh, log into that then from here server manager click that and uh, add select add roles and features okay so it takes some time just uh, leave some time here so add roles and service yes next then role based or feature based that's okay then choose the default one okay then you have to use active directory domain services add features then next 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 then you can use this option install so the installation again uh, takes some time so that's it uh, this is completed so once it is completed you can see a warning icon here because use this option because I, I just completed the installation I have not completed the configuration so promote this into AD so here you can see three options so since this is the first uh, domain controller so I'm using add a new forest and domain name is hadoop.com so if you want to use some other name you can use that right use it then uh, the password you can use that any password that you want to set here this is not your administrator password use some password for a restore right so next so right uh, so again next so this is the default one and again the selecting the default next so here the most of the things I'm selecting as default so this is the same installation step is the same even if you are doing in an AWS environment or your local environment or in a physical machine but in production so maybe using different customize option this is just for evaluating uh, mainly for evaluation purpose and mainly for integrating with uh, different uh, Hadoop components so in production installation you may need to uh, consider a lot of other factors but this is not a production uh, deployment mode of Active Directory so this is just for testing purpose that we are going to use uh, integrating with uh, our Hadoop cluster so uh, it uh, did an automatic uh, reboot Okay, so the system just uh, rebooted automatically because I have successfully configured that domain controller. You can see that it's uh, going to reboot. So we can keep uh, refresh and it takes some time to uh, reboot. Then after that we need to re reconnect. Just connect that. Then download this RDP file and try to connect. So maybe the same all password it will be using. So you need not to generate the password again. Okay, so I just uh, try to reconnect again. So with the same credentials. Okay, yes. So that's it. Uh, so I'm able to connect it now. So it's again uh, take a few minutes to initialize. So wait, wait for that. Okay, so I am able to connect this instance now. So I need to install. Uh, so in order to enable LDAP AS service, so I need to install a certificate uh, service also. Just uh, do that as well. So add roles and features. Then. Uh, role based installation select this default then uh, select active directory certificate services add this feature so this one you need to do in order to enable LDAP as service 
so otherwise by default ldap uh, will be uh, there but you need to enable ldap i mean for enabling ldap is so this uh, role need to be added so select certification authority then do this restart after then install so again this installation also i may take a few minutes so i'm pausing the recording for a while so that's it uh, the installation has completed so next uh, we need to configure and uh, before uh, yeah because we can go to here and uh, configure active directory certificate service then use this okay so that this one choose that as default continue select certificate authority then continue enterprise ca fine uh, root ca okay so create new private key fine so this one select default enter so this is also default so validity period so if you want to increase use increase but again i'm not going to use this instance for uh, with uh, more than one week so i'm okay with this time but if you want to uh, increase you can increase this value that's it so this one fine then configure so after configuring so it may uh, go to uh, restart okay so that's it and uh, one more thing i need to do is so i need to configure my systems firewall or windows server firewall then only I'll, from outside i'll be able to access this ldap and uh, kerberos so for that go to the administrative tool uh, then control panel you need to uh, use just a second um, yeah control panel then systems and security uh, firewall then use this option and again if you know how to configure the firewall to open these particular ports so that is fine because in my case i don't uh, have an idea uh, how to do that but i'm just turning off the firewall at the window side so that from outside everyone would be able to communicate with my ldap and ad uh, service so that's it so we have completed uh, uh, this installation and configuration of uh, ad and uh, certificate service so now uh, the next step i'm going to do is go to the administrative tools active directory users and computers and uh, here i need to create my uh, service accounts and uh, organization units that i will be using for my uh, uh, hadoop services so this is about uh, installation and configuration of ad and certificate service so in that uh, next video we will be i will be covering uh, those parts how to create the organization unit and how to create the service account so thanks for watching so uh, so Kerber enabling Kerberos uh, I will be uploading in my uh, next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.